a just-released report has concluded that in the next decade, Britain's Trident nuclear weapons programme will cost the country over a third of its military's equipment budget. According to experts, the current cost is about 10%. Paul Ingram from the British American Security Information Council, or BASIC, says that even this threefold spike could be an underestimation. Um, essentially, over the next 10 years, it's going to be around about this third. But as we go into the 2020s, Britain's spending on the nuclear deterrent will remain high all the way through the next decade. So we're actually predicting a spend of about 40%. The British military is being stretched. Experts say it has an eye on foreign intervention, but without the finances to make a move. The Ministry of Defence has to reduce spending by £4.1 billion by 2015. It's the biggest round of military cuts since the Cold War. Tens of thousands of soldiers will have to go as the government tries to close the £38 billion black hole in its defence budget. That means that even some inside the Ministry of Defence are unhappy with this extra nuclear cost. Britain's nuclear deterrent is, by and large, a political weapon. Its use is decided not by the military, but by politicians. And so, therefore, people in the Ministry of Defence here largely see it as a plaything of the politicians rather than their own weapon. Therefore, there are lots of debates going on within the Ministry of Defence, lots of opposition to this huge spend, to this what they perceive to be a cuckoo in the nest. The nuclear weapons debate was a huge political issue in Britain in the 1980s. There were huge protests and it was a firm election topic. But not anymore. Today, there is just public apathy. But the recession could change all that. In a time of austerity, when people are seeing their local uh, hospitals closing departments, when, when schools are closing, when there is huge pressure on public spending, and that pressure will only increase over the next four or five years, uh, people will stop being as apathetic as they have been on this issue, because it will be a choice between schools and hospitals and retaining the, the, the nuclear deterrent. Paul Ingram says nuclear weapons always involve a double standard, one that seems more apparent at a time of austerity. Even the coalition government disagrees on whether Trident should be renewed. The coalition government's stalemate over Trident will only delay the inevitable renewal of Britain's nuclear weapons, and that's going to raise some sticky questions the government will find increasingly difficult to answer, like why they're spending on Trident when they're cutting public spending elsewhere, and of course threatening other countries over the same issue. Nagus Moalari, Press TV, London.